explain, but really simple to do, and is so effective. This, this hat, um, if none of the other ones that you've seen here today, tonight, whenever it is that you're watching this video, have earned you a reputation, this one is guaranteed to. Some of you may have seen this at uh, TJAM um, 01, I think it was 01, um, I showed it to a couple of people, but I really, I was really uh, way too pregnant to socialize too much um, at that tea jam. So I was eight months pregnant and not really so into it. <laughs> um, so those of you, those of you who did see it, this will be a good reminder for you. And those of you who didn't, you probably wish that you had. I originally, the, the original design of this hat was shown to me by a friend of mine in Israel named Roy Zaltzman. So this is my adaptation of what he showed me. Okay, and here we go. We want six balloons that are inflated, I guess, a little over three quarters of the way. Um, this hat works best if you either do it with two colors, three colors, or six colors. Because it's a six, it's a six balloon easy weave. That's what I call this hat, the six balloon easy weave hat. Um, there's a couple of different styles that you can do with it, but I'm going to show you my favorite and most used style, um, which is sort of a Mad Hatter-esque type of, of uh, top hat with big holes. Well, anyways, you'll see. Well, actually, you already saw because the picture was before the words. But anyways. <laughs> okay. So, um, you, want to, you want to tie your balloons in, into duplets which, for those of you who don't know decorating terms, means that you just tie them together. You're tying two balloons together. Okay, so you want to do that to all six of your balloons. Tie them together into duplets like that. And there we go. And now we want to take our duplets. And the reason that it works best in two, three, or six colors is because two colors, then you get the colors repeating um, one, two, one, two. Three colors like red, white, and blue, you get the, the uh, uh, double of the colors. They're opposite each other. And with six separate colors, then you get the colors moving through the entire hat. I personally like to do this hat mostly with the primary and secondary colors. Um, I like the rainbow look of it. But again, there's no reason that you have to. It looks really good in the neons. It also looks really good as red, white, and blue. And it's also very popular to do with two team colors. Um, especially for that older boy that you just don't know what to do with. He'll go nuts for this. Anyway, okay, so you want to twist your duplets together. And then, just to make it a little bit more secure, we're going to put a pinch twist on either side. Now, anybody who has done the spiral weave um, that's taught by Marvin Hardy is already familiar with this, putting a pinch twist on either side to flatten out your, um, your gaggle of balloons. And so you get this kind of spider webby thing. And this is going to get people intrigued when you're making this. Because all of a sudden you've got balloons flying all over the place. You're hitting people. They don't know what to make of you. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to grab it. And I usually go, I, I guess, just about a hand's width. Um, again, I really don't use exact sizes ever. So you just kind of have to play with it a little, a little bit. Anyhow, you want, you want to go about a hand's width on each of them, and then you want to make triangles, okay? So your first... Okay. Balloon pops. Okay, your first balloon pops. Thank you, Don. Your first balloon pops, and so you have it sitting right there, and you just tie in another one. There we go. Okay, so the top of the hat is going to be triangles, and then we're going to move down to squares. Um, again, anybody who has done, who has done weaving... Um, spark, um, circle weaving with Marvin Hardy or through Marvin Hardy knows that um, the length of the uh, of the vertical bubbles controls the the um, size of the holes, and the length of the horizontal bubbles controls the width of the roundness. Circumference. <laughs> Circumference. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> okay. Um, and I like to just put it in rainbow order, again, for no particular reason. Okay, and so you want to go around making your triangles. And you can see, I mean, once you get into the rhythm of this, it really can go quite quickly. So you're going to...
to make a wagon wheel. And if you don't tell people what they're making, what you're making, they really will start going, oh wait, what is that? What are you doing? This is the one that's going to get your attention. This is the one that's going to get those hard to please people that just don't want to believe that to go, wow, that is so cool. And it's not, I usually make a big deal out of it, like it's really difficult to make, but the fact of the matter is that probably some of the other designs take longer. Okay, so now we've completed our first part of the wagon wheel here. Now we're going to move on to squares. Okay? So, again, it's really up to you what you want that length to be. I just kind of approximate it. And half the time, I don't even make sure that all my sizes are the same, because since it is kind of a Mad Hatter type hat, if it's a little bit askew, it looks funny. And so that's okay. So it really doesn't need to be exact proportions. Okay, and the same thing, you're just going to go around. Around. And around. And around. And around. Now, at this point I'm going to stop for a second. Um, my husband likes to do it like this. He likes to stop with this first layer and then just attach these out really big. I like to go on and make it a second layer. But now I do want to bring in the width a little bit because I do want to make it fit somebody's head more or less. Again, we're going to use that technique of just sticking um, an uninflated 260 behind it to really hold it on. So we don't have to worry too much about it being exactly the right size. But nonetheless, I like to try and get it more or less fairly close to an actual size. Oops. Okay, so in order to do that, before I close this last bubble off right here, I usually just kind of take it and measure it to the head and fix that last bubble size accordingly. And there we go. Okay, now you've got all these little things sticking out of it. The way that I like to finish it off, now there's many different ways that you can do this, and I'm sure that you guys are going to get really creative. I mean, if you want, you can like start making uh, pearls and bring them up to here. You can do spirals on the end. There's no end to the way that you can decorate and elaborate on this. But what I like to do is I like to just make a little ball on the end here and just flip it around the next color. I like to continue my pattern. You could do it here and keep the orange with the orange, but I like to continue moving it over. Again, same thing here, a little ball, flip it around, one more, one more, okay, now you see here we have a problem, my blue, for whatever reason, is not the same length as the rest of the balloons, I'm not going to be able to get that over, what do I do, what do I do? Well, I'm not one of those balloon people that counts my balloons. I don't worry about taking out a whole balloon to use a piece of it. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take out a new balloon and tie it on. for lay people is that for some reason they think that whatever length the balloon is blown up to it has to stay that length and when you when you cut a piece off the balloon to add air or subtract air they're just amazed by it so here it goes I'm going to put some more air in it okay oh my gosh you put more air in that oh thanks <laughs> how'd you do that that's right that's right folks you can tell it's getting really late here huh <laughs> The, the, the Mountain Dew and uh, and uh, and uh, Red Bull are wearing off here. Okay, 
And then I like to just uh, shape my little visor thingies. And there you go. Now, this on its own, just like this. Can you see it? Am I in the frame? <laughs> Got a pretty tight shot here. Okay. This on its own is a very effective hat. People will go nuts for this. And you saw it really does not take that long. You can make a big deal out of it. I usually won't do more than a couple of these a night. I make this one the really special one. Um, when you're working for tips, this is a good one, you know, like a kind of a negotiating piece or, or something like this. Well, I don't know. What do you think it's worth? That one, kind of, that one takes a while. You know, whatever. Or if your sponsor is nearby, if you're hired to work a gig, this is the one that will blow them away. This on its own is really cool. But now we take our dealy boppers and we just thread them through one of the triangles and do add them on. Let's see, wait, let me get that one back here. Hold on. Eh. <laughs> oh no, oh no. You meant to do that. I meant to do that, that's right. <laughs> and excuse me for a second while I re blow the blow. Okay. And let me dealy vaporize it. And that kind of askewedness really kind of adds to its charm. Okay, told myself I was not going to put balloons in my mouth for this video. Easy six balloon 